21st of February 2022. Hello, everybody. Sergey Baklikov, you're watching Baklikov live from Rostov on Don today. The largest city in the south of uh, Russia with a population of 1.1 million residents. And being only 100 kilometers from the border with uh, Donetsk People's Republic, these days currently it is certain to be the uh, main evacuation area for the refugees from Donetsk and Lugansk. 7.30 local time, it's pretty warm, like plus 7 degrees Celsius. And uh, right now I'm going to order a taxi and to go to uh, the control points on the border with uh, Donetsk Republic uh, to check out how it's going there. On my way from Rostov-on-Don to the border with Donetsk, I saw many buses with the refugees from Donbass. All of them were escorted with the police cars, exactly like uh, these two buses. Now, officially, there are 200 buses are working 24-7 uh, for the uh, delivery of uh, the people of Donetsk and Lugansk to uh, the temporary camps until the stabilization of the situation there. I came to the village, which is called Uspenske. It's right on the border of Russia and uh, Donetsk People's Republic. You see, this is the checkpoint. I see that people from the side of Donetsk all the time going through the checkpoints. Now you can get out of uh, the Donetsk People's Republic, but you can't get in. Let me tell you that at the 18th of February, uh, there started a mass evacuation, mass evacuation to uh, Russia of people of Donetsk after unstoppable uh, shellings from the side of Ukraine to the uh, civilian positions of uh, uh, Donetsk, Lugansk, and all the uh, line all the line of Dutch, or how it sounds in English language, they report that already 53,000 of people from Donetsk, Lugansk, and the area uh, lived to Russia, mostly to Rostov region, Taganrog, Voronezh, and uh, 30 more of uh, the regions of Russia. They uh, uh, said that they are confirmed that they're ready to uh, meet uh, the uh, refugees from Donetsk and Lugansk. After the checkpoint, now I'm going to the village called Natalievka, Rostov region. It's one of the first places being not far from Donetsk, which has started hosting the uh, refugees. Its children's camp turns into the refugee camp. The refugees with DPR license plates and packed. The village which is called Natalievka, Rostov region of Russia. And here is located so-called children's 
uh, health camp Sputnik. It is called Sputnik and it is located on the shoreline of Taganrog Bay. It's just right next to the Sea of Azov. It's in 37 kilometers from the city of Taganrog and in 97 kilometers from the city of Rostov-on-Don, Rostov region of Russia. And you know, this place was the very first camp for the refugees from uh, Donetsk and Lugansk and all the area there. Most uh, refugees were delivered here by the buses, but some came on their cars. You see this parking, some cars, and most of them with the uh, DPR and LPR license plates here. Okay, so now I wanted to get in. I wanted to film what's the insides, the accommodation, what's the conditions, what they eat uh, and uh, of course to talk to the people themselves but now because of all of this situation now in the region it's the emergency situation modes and the camp is uh, you know secured by the officers of the ministry of uh, emergency situations of russia and they told me that without the accreditation from the militaries i just can't get inside and i can understand it but like as much as i can film i'm showing you here i see there's uh, the uh, mobile office of Sberbank, the biggest bank in russia and it seems like people are getting now the um, supports financial supports announced by the governments uh, and so here i saw the uh, megaphone company which is like giving the russian sim cards to the refugees hope you enjoyed the reports i wish peace to the whole world russia ukraine united states europe australia asia arctics antarctics and uh, i hope that it will not go further and soon all the people from donetsk and lugansk will get back to their homes my name is sergey baklikov this is baklikov live from Taganrog Bay, Rostov region, Russia. See you.